بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which will be uh, unit 3 form, meaning and function and I want you to pay extra attention to this lesson because it contains many information. So let's begin uh, revising our previous lesson. We took an article about the vision of the Saudi Arabia 2030. Then we move to the writing corner. When you write an informal letter, uh, letter, open in a friendly way with an appropriate greeting and tell your friend why you are writing. Be friendly with him in the beginning. When you're giving such an up and coming trip, you take, give uh, many details as you can. Note down your feelings and expectations, assumptions, questions and doubts. Plan what information you're going to include in each paragraph. So you have to plan before you write. Close in an appropriate way and sign off with something like uh, speak to you soon, uh, give my best wishes to your family and etc. So these are today's objectives. Uh, we will be using going, uh, be going to to talk about future plans. Choose the suitable question word for the information question. Uh, build correct sentences about tourism uh, destinations. So this is today's lesson. Let's begin the four meaning and function. Uh, let's begin with future with be going to. Be going to. Of course, be here means uh, am, is, or are. Uh, so we use be going to for the future to talk about plans. So we use be going to for the future to talk about plans. For example, here we have the negative and the affirmative. The affirmative, I'm going to travel to Jordan. I'm going to travel to Jordan. So I then am going to, then we put the verb travel to Jordan. So of course, now we know that here he's talking about a future plan that he's going to travel to Jordan. And the negative here, you can see, I'm not going to visit Petra. I'm not going to visit Petra. So this is how you put the negative uh, form of the sentence. You put the word not before the verb going. You can use it also in a question. as a yes, no question here. As always, you, can, you begin with the auxiliary uh, verb. Are you going to travel to Jordan? Are you going to travel to Jordan? You begin with the auxiliary verb or verb to be here, are. Then you put the, uh, the object here, you then going to travel to Jordan. Uh, of course, the short answers, you can say, it, it, maybe it's an affirmative, you say, yes, I am, or a negative, no, I'm not. So this is an easy lesson, but you have to pay attention for it. The function of be going to is to express actions, intentions, and plans that have already been decided on. So again, the function of be going to when you say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, is to express actions or maybe intentions, plans, something that you're planning to do, something that you're intending to do, that have already been decided on. You have finished deciding or so. You want to do this. You decided that you will do it. Meaning, they are planned actions. They are planned actions. They're not just a, a spur of the moment. No. They, they are planned actions. They are actions that you have planned for before. So they are not spontaneous action. The second part of the lesson here, information questions. Information questions. You can see them here. What, when, which, how, where, who, and how long. So let's read them together. The first one, what are you going to do on your vaca in your vacation? What? are you going to do on your vacation? The answer here is, I'm going to travel to Africa. I'm going to travel to Africa. So you're asking for information here. What are you going to do? What are you going to listen to? What are you going to see? So you're asking for an information here. When is he going to leave? When is he going to leave? So when is asking for a time? When is, uh, you know, you want to know the time, at what day, what hour, what year? When is he going to leave? He's going to leave next week. So this is the answer here. He's going to leave next week. Next, with which countries is he, is he going to visit? Which 
countries is he going to visit? So you're asking which, meaning you ask, you're asking what did he choose? Which countries is he going to visit? He's going to visit Tunisia and Morocco. How are we going to go? How are we going to go? We're going to go by plane. So you're asking about the method of going. What, uh, uh, what vehicle we will be using? How are we going to go? We're going to go by plane. Where am I going to stay? Where is asking for a location? Where are you? Where am I? Where am I going to stay? You're going to stay in a four-star hotel. You're going to stay in a four-star hotel. Who is going to travel with them? Who is going to travel with them? Who is asking for a person? Who is asking for a person here? Who is asking? This is who here. So who is asking for a person? Who is going to travel with them? They're going to travel with friends. So you, this is the answer here. You're asking for a person. They're going to travel with friends. How long are they going to stay? So how long is asking for a period of time? How long here? How long are they going to stay? They're going to stay for a month. So a month here, this is the answer, a month. How long? You're asking for a period of time. They're going to stay for a month. When we ask questions with WH question word, we can make a contraction with is, but not with are. You can make it short with is, but not with are. For example, when is turns when's. When's he going to leave? Who's going to travel with, with them? So you can see it here. When is here, it's uh, contracted. When's he going to leave? And also here, who's going to travel with them? You can't use it with are. Next, the position of adjectives. The position of adjectives. So is it before or after any word? Let's see together. Antarctica is an exotic place. The adjective here is before the noun. You can notice here the adjective exotic before place before the noun. Antarctica is an exotic place. So we are describing the place as an exotic place. Another example here, Antarctica is exotic. Here it comes after the verb be. You see the verb he is and then the adjective exotic. So we have two positions for the adjective. The first one is before the noun place here. The second one is be after the verb to be. So this is the position of the adjectives. For example, here we say Saudi Arabia is an interesting place. Saudi Arabia is an interesting place. You notice here the adjective interesting and the noun place. Same, Saudi Arabia and Emirates are interesting places. Interesting places. This is a plural and this is singular. So the adjective is doesn't matter if it's singular or pl uh, plural. Uh, they're both the same, the same adjective. Saudi Arabia and Emirates are interesting places. Does the adjective go before or after the noun? You can see it here. Is it before or after the noun? Of course, it comes before. Does the adjective change for singular and plural nouns? Here you see the noun place, singular, and here it's plural, places. Does it change here, interesting and interesting? Of course not. So this is uh, an information for you. It doesn't change whether we are uh, describing a singular or a plural noun. How do we say, uh, how do we say the sentence uh, on the board with the word place? How do we say that the sentences on the board without the word place? The word place here, if we want to remove it, how do we write these sentences? Like this, we say Saudi Arabia is interesting. Saudi Arabia is interesting and Saudi Arabia and Emirates are interesting. So here we put are and here we put is. Adjectives go before a noun but after the verb be. You see here the verb to be is and the verb to be are. The adjectives come after the verb to be. The use of the articles a or an is uh, in most phrases with the singular nouns. Of course we know that a or an 
uh, comes with uh, singular nouns. For example, Saudi Arabia is an interesting place, is an interesting place. Riyadh is a wonderful city. Riyadh is a wonderful city. So this is a language builder for you. Let's read it together. When be going to is used with the verb go to indicate an event that will take place in the future. When we're talking about the future, we say uh, going to go. The second go is often omitted. What's the meaning of omitted? It, it means that we don't say it, we don't write it. Again, when be going to is used with go to indicate an event that will happen in the future, the second go, the second go, not this one, the first one going. No, the second go is often omitted. For example, I'm going to Africa. Here, I'm going to Africa for vacation. I'm going to go to Africa for vacation. They have the same meaning. So when you say, I'm going to go to Africa, or you say, I'm going to Africa, they have the same meaning. The second go, you can write it or remove it, it's up to you. So this is an exercise here, let's uh, answer it together. Complete the article, use the adjective in the box. You, we have here uh, six adjectives, uh, coastal, dense, fertile, humid, local, and uh, tropical. And the article is about Jazan. Let's read it together and fill the gaps with the correct adjectives. Jazan in southwestern Saudi Arabia is a coastal, the first one is done for you, is a coastal city. Of course, coastal, it means that it's located on the coast, on the coast of Saudi Arabia. Coastal city on the Red Sea. It is the capital city of Jazan province near the Yemeni border. Although it is a small province, it has a population of 1.6 million inhabitants. So we're describing the population. It has a population of 1.6 million inhabitants. So how do we describe the population? Dense, fertile, humid, local or tropical? Very good. It has a dense population. It means too many people there. Dense population of 1.6 million inhabitants. The terrain of the region is varied varied means different, is varied, consisting of mountains, uh, plains, coasts, and islands. Mountains, and then the third gap, plains, coasts, and islands. So what do we put here? Plains. Yes, very good. Fertile plains. It means that you can plant trees there. Uh, fertile plains, coasts, and islands. Jazan is famous for its Products. How do we describe the products here? Is it humid, uh, local, tropical products? So, Jazan is famous for its very good local products, something they produce locally from the people themselves, especially its fruits like mango, figs, and papaya. So, how do we describe these fruits? What kind of fruits are they? Uh, mango, figs, and papaya. Especially, it's very good. We call them tropical fruits like mango, figs, and papaya. The climate in the city of Jazan is very hot and in the summer, while temperature is in the mountains to uh, the northern east are much cooler. So, if you know the climate of Jazan, uh, you know it's that in summer it's very hot and yes, Excellent and humid, too much humidity there in the summer. Uh, while temperatures in the mountains to the northern east are much cooler. Here's another exercise. Add the question words, match the questions and the answers. So first we'll be pu putting the question words. As you can see, the first one is already done for you. Which suitcase are you going to take? Then the answer is E. The red one, it's new. So once you know the question, uh, you can uh, guess the answer. So the second one, are they going to travel? Are they going to travel? Do we put what, where, when, how? 
Yes, very good. How are they going to travel? So we're asking what vehicle are they going to use? We say, how are they going to uh, travel? So can you guess the answer? Very good, it's C. They're going to take a bus. So once you read the word bus here, you know that uh, this is the answer. How are they going to travel? They're going to take the bus. Number three, is he going to do when he arrives? So uh, he, you're asking about something. Is he going to do when he arrives? Very good. What is he going to do when he arrives? So you're asking when he arrives, what is he going to do? Some action maybe. Very good. It's the letter F. He's going to rest. He's going to rest. Number four. Are they going to write to? They're asking about the, the recipient of the letter. Are they going to write to? So you're asking about a person here. Very good. The word who. Who are they going to write to? Which one of these answers indicates a person or people maybe? Yes, very good. The letter B, to their parents. So the recipient here is the parents. Who are they going to write to? To their parents. Number five, are we going to stay? He's asking for a location maybe here. Very good. Where are we going to stay? Which one of these answers uh, indicates a location? Very good. It's the letter A, in a beautiful hotel. Where are we going to stay? We're going to stay in a beautiful hotel. The last one, are we going to get there? You're asking about the time you're going to get there, to arrive there. How do we ask about the time? Very good. When are we going to get there? So which one of these indicates a time? Yes, this is the last one, of course, the letter D. They're going to arrive in the morning. This is the time expression here. This is the answer here. In the morning. They're going to arrive in the morning. Then we uh, continue with the present progressive. We use the present progressive for actions happening now for, or for a definite uh, arrangements in the future. Uh, for example here, my friends are waiting. This is the progressive here, B and ING. Uh, my friends are waiting for me at the airport. What are you doing now? My friends are arriving tomorrow. What are you doing tonight? So these are the uh, forms of the uh, affirmative and the question form here. My friends are waiting for me at the airport. This is happening now. My friends are arriving tomorrow. This is an arrangement. My friends are arriving tomorrow. This is a definite uh, arrangement. What are you doing now? What are you doing tonight? So these are, a quest these are some questions. The present progressive is formed with the present form of be, the present form of be, meaning am or is or are, plus the, uh, the verb with the ing. He is going, they are going, I am going, form of the verb. The future with going to and will, we use be plus going to to talk about plans. We use be plus going to to talk about plans. We use will or maybe or probably for uncertain or indefinite plans. Again, we use be plus going to to talk about plans, and we use will plus maybe or probably for uncertain or indefinite plans. You can see them here in these examples. What are you going to do in your, uh, on your vacation? This, this is a plan. What are you going to do on your vacation? I'm going to travel to Europe. Going to, this is a plan. We're talking about plans. I'm not going to travel this year. Also, this is a plan. Here you say, where will you stay? Will, where will you stay? Maybe I'll stay with friends. Maybe I'll stay with friends. So you're not certain. You are uncertain. I probably won't stay in a hotel. Again, you are not certain. You are not sure about your answer here. So we use maybe and probably with will to say about uncertain plans. Time expressions for the future. I'm leaving, uh, I'm leaving tomorrow night. Time expressions are the words in the sentence that tells you the time uh, that the action is happening at. I'm leaving tomorrow night. I'm leaving tomorrow night. This is the time expression here. 
this year we will go on a vacation to Al Ula, Saudi Arabia. So the answer for when we are going to Al Ula, you say this year. This is the time expression. They are flying to Oman on Thursday. So on Thursday is the time expression. It's the answer to the question when. Hurry, they will be here soon. I'm meeting her in an hour. We will sit examinations next month. So we will sit examinations next month. This is the time expression here that tells me when the examinations are happening. So complete your schedule for next Saturday. Then ask and answer questions with a partner. Try to arrange a time to meet and do homework together. What are you going to? Uh, what are you doing at two o'clock next Saturday? I'm getting a haircut. How about you? So you can fill this chart. This is your schedule or my schedule. Morning, afternoon, evening, activities and time. My partner's schedule, morning, afternoon and evening. And you have also the activities time. So you can fill them and compare it with your partner. Look at the expressions in the box here. Work with a partner. Ask and answer about their future plans. Use going to and will. You can use either going to or will. This is an example here. Where are you going to go on vacation this year? You can see here are and going to go. The answer, I'll probably go to Dubai. How about you? I'll probably means he's not certain. I'm going to visit my grandparents. So you can use these expressions here tomorrow, this week, month, year, tonight, next month, year, uh, Tuesday, soon, on the weekend. Any expression here, you can use it. And remember to use going to and will. I've done one of these for you. Uh, what are you going to do tomorrow? I'll study for my English test. How about you? I'll study without the word probably or maybe. So I know that I'm going to study. I'll study for my English test. How about you? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go to my uncle's house. Of course, you can write it. I'm going to my uncle's house. The second go, remember, you can remove it. You can omit it or you can leave it just like I did. And with that, we reach to the end of this lesson. Thank you for listening so much. See you next lesson, inshallah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu Allah ilan tastaghfirka wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.